Hello, hello everybody! Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube Creative Studio. Today I prepared a video tutorial for you how to crochet a baby hat. I will explain how you can make it bigger or smaller for your babies. It's super easy. We will use uh, double crochet stitches and small bumble stitch or half bubble stitch and uh, you can uh, choose any um, colors you like. I made this pink hat for a baby three months old and uh, this uh, hat is for kids, uh, for toddlers or two years old kids. Uh, the pattern notes are available in the box right below this video tutorial. Uh, in the description box you will find also the links and my contacts and the written pattern is for free on my blog. So guys, it's super easy to make these uh, baby's heads. So let's get started. I will use a premium cotton yarn, Papatia Supreme Cotton. It's my very favorite yarn. I love to use it for making uh, projects for babies. In one ball there are 106 meters, 116 uh, yards. It's a DK light uh, yarn and I chose uh, these uh, three colors for uh, girls, so the light pink, dark pink and white and uh, dark blue, light blue and white yarn for the head for boys. What uh, you will need? I will use three and a half millimeters crochet hook and uh, for the border two and a half millimeters crochet hook. Uh, I will remind you uh, later on scissors and the sewing needle and that's it. We will start with a magic ring. So let me make a magic ring. Just cross the yarn, insert the hook into the uh, loop, make a chain and then chain. So we have two chains and I don't count chain as a stitch. And then let's make double crochet stitches into the magic ring. So make a double crochet. Yarn over, insert the hook into the magic ring, yarn over, pull yarn through two, yarn over, pull yarn through two. Perfect. And I will make 14 double crochet stitches into the magic ring. This is my first round and I will work in closed rounds. So close the round with a slip stitch which is placed on the top of the first double crochet. So I have 14 double crochets, tight the end as much as you can to close the magic ring and then insert the hook on the top of the first stitch. Not into the chain but on the top of the first double crochet. Okay, And make a slip stitch this is it. We have 14 double crochets. Now chain 2. I don't count chain 2 as a stitch. And now let's make increase in each and every stitch. And make a double crochet in each. Two double crochets in each stitch. So two double crochets in the first stitch. And then each and each. Okay, in the second, in the third, fourth, fifth and so on till you reach the end of the round. So two double crochets in next one and two and again one and two till you reach the end and then join the round with a slip stitch on the top of the first double crochet. Chain 2 
I don't count chain 2 as a stitch and let's make round number 3 2 double crochets in the first stitch 1 and 2 and then double crochet in next stitch 2 double crochet in next and 1 double crochet in next so alternate 2 double crochets and 1 double crochet so 1 and 2 in the same stitch and 1 double crochet in next perfect ok 1 double crochet and 2 double crochets till you reach the end of round and then close the round with a slip stitch placed on the top of the first stitch amazing now chain 2 let's make the round number 4 make increase into the first stitch 2 double crochets in the first stitch and then 1 double crochet in next 2 stitches 1 and 1 then 2 double crochets in next 1 and 2 and then 1 double crochet in next 2 stitches so we do increase in every third stitch and again I will meet you at the end and you should have 56 double crochet stitches close the round with a slip stitch chain 2 and now let's make 2 double crochets in the first stitch and then 1 double crochet in next 3 stitches 1 2 and 3 perfect then increase and 1 2 3 double crochets so let's make it 2 double crochets in the same stitch and 1 double crochet in next 3 stitches 1 2 and 3 then increase and 1 2 3 and repeat it till you reach the end close the round with a slip stitch I have 5 rounds and uh, my circle measures 13 centimeters 5 inches and uh, this size is uh, for babies uh, 3 uh, months or 6 months from 3 to 6 months if you want to make it uh, smaller you can use a smaller crochet hook I would recommend you two and half millimeters crochet hook and if you want to make it for newborns babies um, you can make only four rounds now let me show you how to make a small bubble chain two yarn over insert the hook into the first stitch yarn over pull up a loop we have three loops on the hook yarn over and pull yarn through two loops on your hook yarn over insert the hook into the same stitch yarn over pull up a loop we have four loops on the hook yarn over and pull yarn through all loops on your hook then chain one yarn over skip one double crochet and let's make this small bubble into the next stitch okay so let's make this small bubble stitch pull yarn through all loops on your hook chain one skip one double crochet and make a small bubble in next stitch okay so I will make small bubble 
in every second stitch around so you should have 35 bubbles around okay so always make a bubble then chain one skip one and make a bubble into the next stitch once you reach the beginning insert the hook on the top of the first bubble and make a slip stitch you can continue crocheting with the same color or you can change the color if you will change the color i would recommend you to make a slip stitch with a new yarn so pull yarn through the top of the first uh, bubble and uh, through the yarn on your hook then uh, chain two and let's make a bubble in chain one space between bubble stitches from the previous row so the crocheting now it will be super easy as you will make this small bubble stitch between bubbles from the previous row so pull yarn through two yarn over insert the hook into the chain one space yarn over pull yarn pull up a loop yarn over pull yarn through all loops on your hook and then chain one yarn over and make a bubble in chain one space between bubble stitches from the previous round and once you finish a bubble chain one perfect so you can keep continue crocheting it's really easy you don't need to count the stitches and uh, you can only relax and make a bubble stitch and chain one till you reach the beginning of the round and then you can change the color if you want or you can continue with the same yarn i will use the white one white color again finish the slip stitch with this new yarn tight the ends before you start crocheting tight the white yarn and also the dark pink yarn okay then again chain two and make a bubble stitch between uh, between uh, the bubble stitches from the previous round okay so you have the same number of bubble stitches and you can make your hat as long as you need for your baby so i will continue crocheting and meet you once i finish the body of my hat here i am i made one two three four five six seven eight rounds and you see every second round is made with uh, this dark pink color and then i used uh, white then light pink and white again i finish with dark pink color and now i will finish my hat with this light pink so i have light pink color on the top and i will have it on the bottom of my hat and uh, in the middle on the body of my hat i have mainly dark pink color now chain one and make a single crochet on the top of the first bubble then single crochet in chain one space and single crochet on the top of next bubble so easily speaking you will make a bubble stitch in each bubble and in each chain one space so you should have again 70 stitches around 70 single crochets 
And now I will work in continuous rounds, in spiral rounds, so I will not close the round with a slip stitch. I will just easily continue crocheting single crochets in single crochets from the previous round. Now I will change crochet hook to a smaller one, two and a half millimeters, and I will make three more rounds with this smaller crochet hook just to make the edge a bit tighter. So one single crochet in each single crochet. You will have 70 stitches around and I will make four rounds. One, two, three, four. Now let's make the last round. This round will be the round with uh, slip stitches. I will make a slip stitch in each stitch. I will use uh, my crochet hook three and a half millimeters and I will make a slip stitch in each stitch around work a bit loosely. It's uh, just to make the border a bit nicer. Okay, so I'm at the end and now let me show you how to finish, how to join the stitches. So you can pull the loop pull the end and now use the needle and uh, insert the needle under the first slip stitch you created at the beginning and then insert the hook in the middle of the last slip stitch you just finished. So I joined first and the last stitch with an invisible join like this. It's perfect. Then you can hide the end. Actually I cut the yarn after each round so I have to hide all these ends. And uh, my hat is finished. This hat is perfect for spring or fall time. You see it's uh, quite light and airy and it's very very pleasant. I really love this yarn. It's so soft. So now let me measure the hat. The length is uh, 14 and half centimeters 5.5 inch the width is 18 centimeters 7 inch the body is 8 centimeters 3.2 inch and the bottom part is 2 centimeters um, 0 0.8 inch. So this is it. This is it my crochet friends. We have a perfect hat uh, for baby uh, three or six months old. Now let me show you how to make a hat for toddlers two years old. I made six rounds and in the last round I have 84 uh, stitches around. The diameter is 14.5 uh, 
and half centimeters which is uh, 5.5 inch five and a half inch so it's um, a bit wider and I will make uh, not eight but uh, nine rounds with uh, half bubbles okay and I will alternate dark blue light blue and white colors and this is it this is my lovely blue hat I made uh, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rounds with bubble stitches, four rounds with uh, single crochet stitches as uh, the edge, and uh, the last round uh, with slip stitches. The length is uh, 16 and half centimeters, uh, six and half inch the width is uh, 21 and half centimeters 8.4 inch and the body is uh, 9 centimeters 3 and half inch okay and the top is uh, six uh, centimeters, two and three inch. Okay, guys, this is it. We just made two cute uh, hats for babies or toddlers. You can uh, make the size which is perfect for your baby and uh, you can make it bigger or smaller longer or shorter it's fully up to you you can choose the colors you like so guys thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial if you like it please give me your thumb up and don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel wish you happy crocheting take care and bye for now bye bye